Welcome back to our kitchen. Today we're making agua de horchata. And today's video was requested by our family in Kentucky, the Thompsons. Really? <laughs> the poor chat. They said you better make a video making some horchata and you no good some good. For agua de horchata, you start by cleaning your rice. This is one cup of rice. See any little brown or black bits in your rice, then you take those out. Put enough water to cover your rice. And add a cinnamon stick. You just let this soak anywhere from one to 10 hours. For this recipe, you're going to need eight cups of water, one cup of rice, two cinnamon sticks. We only have one here because we have one in here with our rice soaking. One third cup of sugar, one can of condensed milk, one can of evaporated milk, two teaspoons of vanilla. If you don't have a cinnamon stick, you can use ground cinnamon, about one to two teaspoons, depending on your preference. This rice has been soaking in water for about 10 hours with a cinnamon stick in it. And just put your rice that's been soaking into your blender with the cinnamon. Add a little more water. And then you just blend. You want to blend this for a while because you really want to pulverize that rice. We're gonna strain our mixture. Now we're, gonna, now we're gonna add this back to our blender and double blend. Now we're gonna strain our mixture one more again. Mixture, put it back in the blender. It doesn't have to be all of it, it's just in the remaining ingredients. So one third cup of sugar and one can of condensed milk. And we don't use specific brands, you can use whatever brand of this you have. If you want to make it vegan, do one of those plant-based milks. And then you got vegan agua de horchata. Hooray! I'm not going to showcase the brands because they're not sponsoring this video. Once the milk lady wants to give me some free milks, then I'll show you the brand. The can of evaporated milk. Two teaspoons of vanilla. We got one. We got one. Two. And then we blend. You could just put the ingredients into the bowl, but why? If this can do the work for you. Then you put your horchata into a nice pitcher. So I don't make fun of you. So you don't leave your house saying, oh, that was good horchata, but with the pitcher they used was a hunk of shit. Yeah, and never mind that instant horchata mix in their cabinets. And then you take that remaining cinnamon stick, you break it up into bigger pieces, and you put those in. And you just want to use the bigger pieces. It's only a decoration. You don't want to use any small pieces because people might choke, and then they'll be talking about you in the group chat how you were kind of killing everybody mm -hmm. with your little cinnamon. Taste test. Cheers. Salud. Damn. Delicious. This came out really good. Cheers. Cheers next time.